is the torque equation that we are looking for and if this beta is very close to 90 degree then the torque will be maximum hello everyone today i am here with an interesting question that is why induction motor are called self starting or not means it is self starting or not uh, most of the time we face the pro problem as uh, is a single phase induction motor self starting this this may be the question most of the time so i will be discussing in a broad way so that is why i have told that induction motor only not single phase okay the basic funda behind the self starting part is about the torque the starting torque if it is present or not so the basic point which i will be going to discuss is that it is the torque speed characteristics of an induction motor so in case of three phase induction motor if we can see the three phase induction motor speed torque characteristic graph so we will be able to see very easily that there is a self starting torque here so basically we are having a tst that is the starting torque but in case of single phase induction motor mostly that we know that it is having no self starting torque but whenever you are having or facing a question this kind of question in interview you have to again ask what kind of single phase induction motor you are talking about is it a single phase single winding induction motor or it is a single phase two winding induction motor the different scenario is present for different cases if it is a single phase single winding induction motor then you can easily say that okay starting torque is equals to zero but if it is a single phase two winding induction motor means what it can be a starting torque and yes in our general cases the fan it is a single phase two winding induction motor that is why whenever we are applying the switch the motor is getting turned on means what it is having a starting torque it is not equals to zero so the basic question is that what is the difference between single winding and two winding in case of single winding induction motor according to double revolving field theory we know that there are two three phase rotating magnetic field generated which are actually working opposite side so that is why in the starting point their magnitude is equal and opposite that is why their starting torque is zero but in case of single phase two winding induction motor there is a starting torque because of the extra effect of another winding that is the main winding is present in both the cases but there is a special winding present in the two phase two winding single phase two winding induction motor that is called auxiliary winding this is rather called only a starting winding also auxiliary winding what is this this is actually a winding which is helping the motor to start it gives a phase difference to the currents which is present in the induction motor as we know the torque which is there the starting torque you can say rather that is proportional to the currents and the angle between them the phase angle that is the sin beta portion means if we draw the phasor diagram if this is i1 and if this is i2 if their in between angle is beta then this is the torque equation that we are looking for and if this beta is very close to 90 degree then the torque will be maximum so we are using this auxiliary winding to make the angle between the currents the phase angle between the currents very near to 90 degree and for that in case of our general fans general usable induction motor single phase we are using capacitors what does this capacitor capacitor do they basically give the 90 degree phase shift for which the torque becomes maximum at starting and which can give us the starting torque of those kind of induction motors so this was the fact most of the time we may have some difficulty to answer this kind of questions but this is the fact behind it and you will be able to answer this kind of questions in future and i will be in the next video i will be describing the double revolving field theory which actually determines the state of the starting torque and how this starting torque is being generated 
by the induction motor in case of single phase single winding so that will be my next video and stay tuned to my channel please then it will be very much effective for you thank you